What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. We've got some cool news about the OnePlus 5T. YouTuber Carl Conrad was able to get his hands on the reviewer edition because he's a tech YouTuber on YouTube uh, of the OnePlus 5T and he did an early unauthorized boxing before the street date of November 16th. Now let's talk about what he thought and what we saw in the OnePlus 5T unboxing. First of all, his OnePlus 5T was black, was 128 gigabytes of storage and eight gigabytes of RAM. Really no surprises there in terms of the specs that he got with his phone because it's the same as the other OnePlus 5 that's currently out right now. Next, let's talk about the look of the OnePlus 5T versus the OnePlus 5. His first impressions on that device was that the OnePlus 5T just looked completely more modern, like a 2017 flagship should, whereas he says the OnePlus 5 looked more like a 2015 or 2016 flagship. I completely agree with them. I think when you look at something like the OnePlus 5 and compare it against, say, a Galaxy Note 8, an iPhone 10, a Pixel 2 XL, an LG V30, it just looks years old. And it's nice to see that they're putting something out, you know, halfway through the cycle of the OnePlus 5. I think it'll anger people, but they also did that last year. They had the OnePlus 3, and then they came out with the OnePlus 3T with slightly better specs in some areas. And now they're doing the same with the OnePlus 5T. This time, more of a physical change to make it look more modern versus what you get with other flagship phones. During the setup process of the OnePlus 5T, he shows that right off the bat when you're setting up the phone, you get face unlock a la Samsung Galaxy phones and also the new iPhone 10. So they're trying to compete with those devices, which is nice, you know, face unlock, uh, fingerprint sensors and codes and all that. Obviously, the more ways you can unlock a device, the better, because sometimes it's easier to just throw up your phone and unlock it with your face rather than putting your fingerprint or vice versa. So he said the face unlock, he didn't give any impressions of how well it worked, but he did say it was there on the first try when you're setting up the phone. The other cool thing is he said the fingerprint sensor on the back, because it used to be on the front of the OnePlus 5, but now it's on the back of the OnePlus 5T, he said it's great, it's fast, it's just as fast if not faster on the OnePlus 5T. I like it on the back too, it sounds kind of dirty, but you know what I mean. I like my fingerprint sensors on the back of the phone, they're just more natural, more comfortable. I don't mean the way in the place that Samsung puts it all the way up, I'm talking about where the Google Pixel 2 XL puts it, I love it, right smack dab in the middle and it's the same place that OnePlus 5T put theirs as well. And last but not least, the display on the OnePlus 5T is a 1080p plus display, meaning that the resolution is slightly higher than a 1080p uh, resolution. It's got 2160 by 1080, so it's got a few more pixels per inch versus another device that would just be flat 1920 by 1080. And he said it's very difficult to see that that is a 1080p display, that it looks and compares well against, say, a 2K display, which is on some other phones such as the Galaxy Note 8, the Pixel 2 XL, the iPhone 10 devices in that range. Now, if you want to see the entirety of this video, it is on dailymotion.com. I will link it in the description down below. He put it up on YouTube, he took it down, obviously OnePlus probably told him to take it down, and it is down off his YouTube page. And the only place to currently see it is on Daily Motion, so I'll link that in the description down below. Let me know your thoughts on the OnePlus 5T. Is it a good phone? Is it a bad phone? Is it a phone that you're thinking about getting? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, see you down the road. Peace!